When we think of Bhagavan Krishna, two main points come in front of our mind. One is his leelas that he did in his childhood. And second is the instruction of wisdom that he gave in Bhagavad Gita. These are the two main aspects. And the best part that I liked about Bhagavan Krishna is whenever he left one place, he never went back. He left the prison, went to Vrindavan, Gokul. He never went back. He kept going ahead and ahead. This is the first principle we all have to learn about our life with reference to him. Many of us have this big problem. We are all the time going back. For example, I'll tell you, I was in Newcastle in Australia and my friend, a Sardarji friend, he had a very sweet son, maybe about nine years or so that time. Now he's in college. So I asked him, I said, hey, tell me something new which I don't know about you. He was keeping quiet. I said, okay, I'll give you some lead. Have you ever gone to India after coming to Australia? Of course, we go every year. Very good. Now tell something new. What he told was the biggest and the best message. He said, when we go to India, we talk about Australia. And when we are in Australia, we talk about India. Is it not your story? Back home, forget your back home. Be where you are. See? Many times another complaint which comes to us. The complaint is, how many of our children never listen to us? What should we do? When we were young, you know, we were listen, listening to our parents and we were so obedient. But today's children are so terrible. Why this is happening? So I tell them, very simple reason. We were lucky to have good parents. <laughs> See friends, stop complaining. Celebrating Bhagavan Sri Krishna's birthday is we have to decide firmly. Stop complaining about anything in this world. Sanskrit is the only language wherein exhaustive research is done regarding the pronunciation of every word. See? It is not in any language. And therefore, even if you don't understand, never mind friends. Read every day at least one chapter of Gita. Read. Then you will see the glory of Bhagavan. But I don't understand. Who cares? You keep on chanting. He understands. You don't have to worry. He will help you. And in this manner, every day one chapter, second day, second chapter, third day, third chapter, after 18th chapter is over, again start from the first chapter. And slowly, slowly, you will start falling in love with Bhagavan Krishna. And then many hidden secrets of Bhagavad Gita will be opened unto you. See? In Shweta Shweta Rupanishad, a mantra comes, Yasya Deve Para Bhakti Yatha Deve Tatha Gurau Tasyete Kathita Mantra Mahatmanaha He who has tremendous devotion in the Lord and the Guru, to him all the mantras reveal their meaning. You don't have to struggle. The mantra will come in your heart and tell, hey, this is my meaning. And it is possible. And for doing anything in life, what we require is commitment. Bhagavad Gita says, Sadhura evasya mantavyaha samyak bhavasito hisa. He is already a great master in making. He who has decided 
to change himself. Therefore, today Bhagwan Krishna's birthday. In Bhagavad Gita, fourth chapter, Bhagwan says, "Ajopi san navyatma bhuta anam Ishvaropi san prakritim swam adhisthaya sambhavami atma maya." Although I am unborn, see, Ajopi san. Although I am unborn, yet I manifest. Be attentive. And the Lord manifests in our life in the form of difficulties. Drishti me parivartan aajai, to har jagad me kaneya ka darshan hota hai. Roop me, shabd me, rang me, aur paristhiti me, usi ka darshan hota hai. Par bhagwan ka darshan hona, yehi anand hai. भगवान के भक्ति का तात्पर्य है जिस नारायण को हम ढूंढ रहे थे वो बाहर नहीं है तो पहले अपने हृदय में भगवान को भगवान का दर्शन करना माने डर से निवृत्त हो गए अब दूसरा भगवान के दर्शन का लक्षण विष्णु पुराण में ये विचार आता है भगवान के विस्मृति को दुख कहते हैं किसकी विस्मृति होगी दुख आनंद के विस्मृति को दुख कहेंगे तो भगवान नारायण का दर्शन होने का तात्पर्य क्या है आप मौज में रहोगे ये भगवान का दर्शन भगवान का दर्शन माने ब्रह्म भूत प्रसन्नात्मा प्रसन्न रहो